Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the eighth tutorial and today we're going to work with uh, Excel tables. I'm going to show you several uh, features of, of working with tables. So the first thing that I've done is I've gone out and I've just created some basic data here. So what I did is I just created a car sales spreadsheet. So if someone was tracking all the car sales, um, you know, this is a Honda dealership example. So what are the, you know, what's the salesperson's name? What's their HR ID? What's the car model? What's the price? Was it a newer used car? Uh, did they get a bonus for selling this car? So certain things like a warranty or an accord they might get a bonus on. And then what is the transaction ID for the um, for that car or for that uh, exchange? So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to spread out these columns a little bit so I can read them. We can read the titles a little bit better. And to make a table, the first thing that you do, you just click anywhere within your data range here. Go to Insert, Table, and you see by default it's it selected it. If you need to change it, you can change it here, but you see it goes from A1 to G45. And then the box is checked, my table has headers, and that's the title up here, the, the header row. Okay, so I say OK, it automatically creates a table. So with that, um, a couple quick things are you notice right away it created a table tools button up top here. So when you go and click on table, you click anywhere within your table, click on table tools, and you'll get several options with regards to tables. For example, if we wanted to change the design of it from the default color over to green or any other number of colors that we have here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and make it uh, black and white keep it simple okay so a couple quick things that I want to show you are down at the bottom here if uh, as tables change you don't want to be locked into that original table size so if you want to add a row at the bottom just click in the very last cell click tab and you automatically add a cell and what I'm going to do here I'm going to go ahead and add a, a duplicate row intentionally to show you how to remove duplicates later in the session here. Okay, so if you notice, I'm just copying a row from up top here. I'm copying this row right here. So just, I intentionally created a duplicate. Now, if I would like to add a column, all I would need to do is start typing. So let's, um, I'll make up uh, you know a column and I'll call it commission and you see what happens it automatically creates a um, a column uh, in the table itself so I don't really need that so I'm going to undo it I just wanted to show you how you, how you would go about doing that likewise you can go ahead and add a column here in the middle or a row um, through the normal functions and it will add it right within your table Okay, so uh, another thing I want to show you is removing duplicates. So again, we click on the table tools option and we go to remove duplicates and you see you have all these options here. So we don't want to remove the duplicate salespeople because we're showing all their entries. We don't want to remove HRIDs. So what we want to do is we want to remove duplicate transaction IDs. So what we do is we uncheck all of the columns that we don't want to sort sort on or uh, key on for dupl du uh, duplicate rows or duplicate values and now I just say OK and you see what happened one duplicate value is found and removed 44 unique values remain so now if you notice that very last one is gone we had row 46 there and transaction 42 was removed so if someone accidentally put something in the, in the table twice it's not a big deal one other quick thing I want to show you here is you can, with the tables, you can sort uh, any way you'd like to. So for example, I can click on the pull down menus here. I can um, uncheck the select all and I can just look at accords or civics or accords and civics. So if I just look at accords, it just shows me those, those options. So I'm going to go back to select all. Now if I go there again, I can do sort. A to Z and it will sort alphabetically 
Likewise, I can take price and I can say sort largest to smallest. So if you wanted to sort, um, you know, by any any option there, you you, you have it. Um, let's see what else. I think the last thing that I wanted to show you is if you don't want your table set up anymore in a table format, you can go back to table tools and then just click on convert to range and it will convert that information back into a normal um, format. Okay? So again, um, from scratch, if you just click anywhere within the table, insert table, chose the right range of cells, and there you have your table. And the last thing that I want to show you is when you do need to edit your tables, you want to click anywhere within the table and you'll have that table tools option up top automatically. If you click over here outside of the table, you notice it's gone. Okay? And I think that'll do it for today. Thanks for joining and don't forget to join. I'll be adding a lot more um, Excel training and other training sessions coming up. So thanks. Bye.